What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today we have WatchOS 10 Beta 3 installed on my Apple Watch Series 8. Let's go, I'm gonna show you a couple of changes. So the first one is, if you have an alarm enabled, you actually see this alarm thing on top. Whereas before you saw a red dot and that red dot would just be there forever basically. But now it actually shows you alarms if you have an alarm enabled and it kind of corresponds with if you have a stopwatch going, you see the stopwatch icon up there. If you have a workout going, your workout would be up there. Phone call, your phone call will go up there. Apple just added alarms up here inside of watchOS 10. Now the next one has to do with the control center and you're gonna notice that when we open up the control center, the colors all match now. So now they're all black instead of the gray that we had in beta 1 and the kind of mix that we had in beta 2. It was an easy change for Apple to do. The next one is inside the weather app. And if we were to tap up here and choose the new viewing, you'll see that we have a new humidity section. So it shows you the percentage of humidity that we have here. When you got a notification, the text actually got a little more padding. So it's now right here instead of on the app icon. Unfortunately, I don't have a screenshot, but if I do end up getting one, I'll put it right around here. Those are the three changes I can find in WatchOS 10. And now I like to talk about some bug fixes that were inside of WatchOS 10. So scrolling inside of WatchOS 10, especially if we have a menu like this, and then we just have two single view menus and then scrolling through the menus, this just feels a lot smoother and it's accurate most of the time now. And battery life seems to be a lot better inside of beta three. I feel like beta three for all the platforms that Apple has released today are all bug fix focus updates, which means I'm gonna need to update this battery widget again to be more accurate with beta three since it's optimized for beta two. Now I got a couple of people saying that they installed if you're considering installing it, watch OS 10 on your main Apple Watch, I would still hold off against it. And I know this is very likely gonna be the public beta. And the reason why I say I hold off against it is because uh, you can't go back to watch OS 9 at all. It's physically impossible. The only way to do it is you have to set it to Apple to themselves. You can't do it in an Apple store. It needs to go to Texas and they need to do some process to reset the Apple Watch with Apple Watch 9. Only they can do that. And I mention it in the Apple Watch videos more than any other videos because with the iPhone and Mac, it's really easy to go back, especially with the Mac. With the Apple Watch, it's just impossible. Now that's all I have to say about this latest beta for WatchOS 10. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll hopefully see you with beta 4. Bye!